well, uh, you know, what goes <laughs> oh, no. up must come down. That's uh, the way the saying goes. And yes, temperatures are coming down. Not too much, though. We're certainly around where we should be this time of year. So we're not too cool, but relatively speaking, of course, much cooler than where we've been. Currently, though, we're into the 60s this evening, getting a look from Long Beach, and you're going to see mostly clear conditions, a little bit of cloud cover seeping into the forecast, but for the most part, we're keeping it clear. That ridge of high pressure still dominating, but it's starting to move eastward, and low pressure is starting to slide in, and as it does, we're expecting much cooler and potentially cloudier forecast. Mostly clear for us tonight, pretty mild as well. Temperatures into the 60s for the most part. 61 in downtown Inglewood at 58 over Dalhousie. Canberra, you're at 60 degrees. And as we head over to the coast to Santa Monica, 57 degrees. So 50s and 60s generally. Westminster at 56, Huntington Beach at 55, and Long Beach at 59 degrees. So again, we are keeping conditions a little cooler over the next few days. That ridge is moving out, as we just mentioned. Low pressure is moving in. And the cloud cover is moving in as well. That's going to prompt temperatures to just get a little cooler as we head into the weekend. But again, we should be about average this time of year. Upper 60s, 70s, that's where we should be at. That's where we will be at. But we are coming out of 80 degree temperatures, so certainly feels a lot cooler compared to where we've been and staying cooler as we head into next week. So, of course, we're going to have that five day forecast coming up for you in just a little bit. We'll break it all down for you. But all you need to know, well, just a little cooler, a little cloudier. Back to you guys. All right, FC, and I know I was out earlier today and it was just beautiful. I loved it, but uh, it's not going to stay quite like this over the next few days, but it won't be too bad. So let's get a look at your forecast. We'll show you what you can expect getting a look this evening from uh, or over downtown rather, and we're looking at mostly clear conditions. You'll see that as we get a closer look at radar right here, just a little bit of cloud cover, more heading our way, but we're still keeping it relatively clear as we head into tomorrow. And as we head into tonight, you'll see temperatures into the 50s and 60s this evening. Of course, a little cooler for the mountains. You're into the 30s. The deserts into the 60s and a little more cloud cover along the coast by tomorrow. Same thing goes. We should see plenty of sunshine minus the coast. We'll see a little bit of cloud cover working its way into the forecast. That onshore breeze is going to start to pick up. And as we head into the weekend, we're really going to see an offshore push as low pressure makes its way into the forecast. And that's essentially what's going to cool us down. And that's what's going to bring cloud cover right back into the picture. But for now, sunny and nice tomorrow, 70 degrees for the basin. That's about a degree above average for this time of year. So we're right around average. We were into the 80s, so it certainly feels a lot cooler. But again, we're pretty much where we need to be. The valleys into the 70s, the coast into the upper 60s, the deserts into the 70s, the mountains flirting with 60 degrees, which isn't too shabby for the higher elevations. And you'll see right here for the basin in Orange County, uh, 70s still tomorrow, a little cooler by Saturday, recovering a bit temperature wise Sunday into Monday and bringing cloud cover into the forecast. Not a lot of it. We're just calling it partly cloudy as we head into the second part of the weekend. And as we head into next week as well, you're going to see the same thing. So take a look at your next five day forecast for the coast, a little more cloud cover for the coast tomorrow, partly cloudy as we head to Saturday. Saturday and Sunday, low clouds in the picture over the weekend. Mild temperatures, though, persisting as we head into Monday. A little cooler as we head into Tuesday. So we're going to have more five day forecasts coming up for you, and we'll show you exactly how warm or how cool rather it's going to get over the next few days. Lena Sylvia, back to you. All right. And very nice weather here on the West Coast. We're looking at a little bit of a cool down, though. We'll have all those details coming up in just a few minutes. It's and like Lena was saying, you do not want to be in a hard hardware store. store. Of all places, <laughs> that is the last place you want to be, the exactly. last kind of store you want oh to be in. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you I, don't want to be in there. I guess around the spring, we get a lot of tornadoes, yep. too. You begin to see a lot of extreme yeah, weather Yeah, we're like starting this. to see mm -hmm. tornadoes. Mm -hmm. We're starting to see very extreme weather back east. Right. Now that it's a little warmer, we're looking at major rain, flooding three to right. five inches oh, of rain yeah. in the northeast. And the snowpack, that's the big concern mm -hmm. because we had so much right. snow yeah. there yeah. in the last even month or two. Right. So flooding is going to go. Huge mm -hmm. concern, exactly. So uh, things are a little more mild, literally, <laughs> here on the West Coast. We're just looking at a little cool down. By cool down, we're talking 60s and 70s as we head to the next couple of days, which is average this time of year. We were a little cooler today. Just yesterday, we actually set a record right here at LAX. You got up to 81. Your record was 80. So again, that was yesterday. We were a little cooler today. And we're going to gradually cool it down as we head into the weekend. You'll see high pressure. Actually, you won't see it, but that's what's happening. High pressure is moving east. Low pressure is moving in, and that's going to prompt a much cooler forecast. But again, average. Nothing too cool right where we should be. You'll see cloud cover sitting to our north. At this point, we are 
pretty free and clear of the clouds. We're going to stay that way through tomorrow. Maybe a little bit of coastal cloud cover tonight into tomorrow, but for the most part, we are clear the basin into the 60s right now. Deserts into the 60s and the mountains into the 30s this evening. And by tomorrow afternoon, the basin getting up to 70, the valleys into the 70s, the deserts into the 70s as well. The mountains, of course, a little cooler, but nice for you. You are into the 50s with nothing but sunshine as we head into tomorrow. You'll see your five day forecast pretty much showing you the same drill here. You're into the 70s as you head into tomorrow for the valley. So pretty impressive. Still nice weather. Remember, we did see 80, so this is a lot cooler then of course 80, but still nice as we head to Saturday. A little bit of cloud cover and looks like we're going to see more sunshine as we head to Sunday and Monday through your valley spots with temperatures back up into the 70s. A little bit of cloud cover returning as we head into Tuesday, but very mild conditions, very warm. In fact, so not a bad forecast for you for the high desert. We're expecting sunshine for the next few days pretty much across the board. Temperature starting to dip down a little bit by Saturday up a bit by Sunday and still pretty nice tomorrow. Sunny day. You're at 73 degrees, a little more cloud cover as we head into next week and getting a look at one more five day forecast. You're going to see the same pattern. A little cooler tomorrow, but still sunny and still warm. Average for the basin is about 69 degrees, so we're going to be about a degree above that right where we should be this time of year primarily. And then by Saturday and Sunday, just a little cooler for you, especially on Saturday. Sunday, we're back up into the 70s. That should be lasting through Monday. And still pretty mild. A little bit of cloud cover mixed in with sunshine as we head into Tuesday. Lena and Sylvia, back to you.